Hello friends, welcome to our channel. So in the previous session, we have discussed regarding the different iterative control statements. So in that, we have seen uh, three iterative statements, while loop, for loop and do while. So in while and uh, for loop, the condition will be checked at the beginning itself. And if the condition is true, then only the control will enter into the body of the loop so in the in the case of do while first the control will enter into the body of the loop and then the condition will be checked so if the condition is true then the second iteration will be done or else it will come out from the loop so that's why at the beginning itself we are checking the condition that's why this for loop and while loop are called pretest loops and at the end, so after executing the block of statements once, at the end we are checking the condition in the do while. So do while is called post test loop. So in this session, let's have a look on break and continue statements. Break and continuous statements break and continuous statements so here already we have seen this break statement in the switch statement so both are the keywords break and continue both are the keywords so a keyword is an english words given by the compiler which is having a specific task so here also the break is a keyword which is having a specific task and continue is a keyword which is having its its own task coming to this break so we have seen this break statement the importance of break statements in multi-way selection statement that is switch so whenever the control executes this break statement immediately the control will come out from the loop so the rest of the iterations will be terminated so immediately after executing this break statement the control will come out from the loop and coming to this continue so this is also similar to the break statement so it's also a keyword and here the continue means the particular iteration where this continue statement has been written will be ignored and the control will start executing the next iterations so as i have said that iteration is a number of times the block of statements being executed so for example, if we write a code which executes the block of statements 10 times, we call them as 10 iterations. So here, if we write this continue, if the control executes this continue statement, it skips the iteration but not the entire loop. Coming to this break, it skips from the entire loop. So break. Continue. So, whenever the control executes this break statement, skips from loop. Whereas continue, it skips from current iteration. So, in which iteration the continue statement has been written? syntax the syntax is as it is a keyword just write the keyword break a small letters and press the semicolon here syntax here also the continuous a keyword with a lowercase letters so write the keyword press the semicolon so break means it can the control come out from the loop continuous the control will come out from the current iteration in which iteration the continue has been written let us see the working of break and working of continue first coming to this break working how this break works so 
we can write this break and continue statements in any iterative statements. So we can include this break in for loop. Likewise, we can include this break in while loop and we can include this break in do while loop. While condition, so we are we have to check the condition at the beginning itself, then only we will enter into the loop. So some statements we are, we are writing and if some condition, so if this condition satisfies, we are implementing this break. So this break and continue statements will be used in iterative statements. have it as for initialization condition updation while so these are the syntaxes as we have seen in the previous sessions so coming to this while loop as it is called as a pre-test pre-test loop so the condition must be written at the beginning and the control will check the condition at the starting itself and if this condition is true, then only the control will enter into the loop and these statements will be get executed. And if condition, so here again we are writing the condition, if this condition becomes true, then it will enter into the if block. So we are writing this break statement. So whenever the control comes into the break, automatically the control will move out from the loop and it will execute the statement takes so whatever statements written in the loop if the control executes this break statement immediately the control will come out from the loop and the sequential execution will follow and here also similarly do while here also if this condition is true we are writing the break so whenever the control comes to the break statement it automatically the control will comes out from the loop and it will execute the sequential execution that means the statements just written below the loop similarly here coming to this for loop for initialization condition and updations of a loop variable we have written some statements and in that we have written this uh, if conditional statement so if the here also if the condition is true the break statement will be executed and if this break statement executes the control automatically moves out from the for loop and it will execute statement x which is written just below the for loop so if the condition is true or false even in the while condition if the condition is still true immediately after whenever the control reaches the break statement the control will move out from the loop so uh, even the condition is true if the control executes the break the control will come out from the loop it doesn't execute any more statements in the loop after executing this break statement so like this we can implement this break statement in different iterative statements also in the multi-way selection statement that is switch so hope you understood this working of a break and let us have a look on iteration oh, sorry continuous continuous statement working of continue let us look at working of continue 
and then we will see the example program for this break and continue. So replace this break statement with a continue statement. Continue. So here also similar to the break, this continue statements will also be used in iterative statements. So that means in while loop, do while or for loop, anywhere we can write this continue statement. So whenever the control meets this continue, that means whenever the control execute this continue statement, the control will skip the current iteration in which this continue statement has been written. So here also, whenever this continue is executed, automatically it skips the remaining statements of while condition and immediately the control will move on to the condition check. So if you write any more statements here, so let us write one more statement here. So we are writing this statement y. So now if the condition is true, the control will enter into the block and here also if the condition is true, continue and after, after this if block we are writing the statement y and whenever the control executes this continue, the remaining statements of the loop will be skipped and the control will move on to the next condition check. So that means it skips the current iteration where this continue statement has been written. Similarly, do while. Here also, the continue, whenever the continue is executed, all the remaining statements in the loop will be skipped and it will be moved into, move, moves to the condition, the, that means next iteration, that means next round. Here also, if it is continue, again it will go to the condition check all the remaining statements will be ignored. So that means it doesn't comes out from the loop, but it comes out from the iteration. Hope you understood this working of break and continue. So this is a continue working. Continue working of continue. So these break and continue statements can be used in uh, iterative statements. Now let us have a look on example so that uh, small doubts which you feel will be fed out. If you have any little bit confusion, those confusions will be fed out. If you see this example for break and continue. Let us write uh, an example program. So if I will write the program so that you will understood. So this is an program to print the n natural numbers. Here first we are printing the i value. Initially the i value will be 1 because we have initialized in the for loop. i less than or equal to 5 i plus plus so that first this condition will be checked. So 1 is equal to is equal to through 3 that is false. So obviously this block will be skipped and directly print f i. So 1 will be printed. Now, as i plus plus have been done, so i will be now 2. 2 less than or equal to 5, again enter into the for loop because the statement is true, the condition is true. 
again the control will enter into the loop now i is equal to is equal to 3 now i is equal to 2 2 is equal to is equal to 3 its condition fails so it doesn't enter into the if block so the printf i the statement will be executed so it will be printed 2 next as we have seen this i increment i will be incremented so that is 3 3 less than or equal to 5 so 3 less than or equal to 5 the condition is still true so again the control will enter into the loop so here if i is equal to is equal to 3 so 3 is equal to is equal to 3 so the condition is true so the control will enter into this if block so break statement break immediately after executing this break the control will come out from the loop the control will come out from the loop so the output for this program is 1 and 2 because here we use this break statement so immediately after the break statement even the condition is true 3 less than or equal to 5 even though condition is true after executing the break statement the control immediately come out from the loop so it was executed now hope you understood if you replace here with continue see here here also the same statements i is equal to 1 so that 1 less than or equal to 5 i plus plus 1 if is equal to is equal to 3 false so directly print i so that means 1 next i plus plus so 2 2 less than or equal to 5 again the condition is true again so the control will enter into the loop 2 is equal to is equal to 3 the condition fails so it doesn't enter into the if block print of i that means 2 now again 3 so we need not write here i plus plus 3 less than or equal to 5 3 is equal to is equal to 3 the condition is true so the control will enter into this if condition here we have written continue so whenever we have written this continue once again it will check the condition so it skips the present iteration that means all the remaining statements will be ignored for the current iteration so once again it moves on to the condition so i plus plus has been executed so i is equal to 4 4 less than or equal to 5 condition is true 4 is equal to is equal to 3 so here it is false so the control will never enter into this if block print of i so i is equal to 4 conditions incremented loop variable incremented so now i is equal to 5 5 less than or equal to 5 again the condition is true the control will enter into the block so 5 is equal to is equal to 3 the condition fails it doesn't enter into the if block again the printf statements is executed and it will print 5 and as this i plus plus is incremented the loop variable is incremented i now becomes a 6 6 less than or equal to 5 the condition fails so then the control moves out from the loop so the output for this program the same program which we have written for break statement this we are replacing the break with continue the output will be 1 2 4 5 because in the iteration in the condition i is equal to is equal to 3 we are writing the continue that means we have we are just we are skipping this statements when i is equal to is equal to 3 that means the continue where where the where, whenever the a continue statement is executed the all the remaining statements of the current iteration will be ignored and continue with the next iteration so that's why the, the continue will skip the iteration and break will skip the loop entire loop so this is an example so hope you understood this uh, break and continue statements and if you have any more doubts regarding this break and continue statements please post your uh, doubts in the comment section so that i will clarify your doubts and uh, let us stop here in the next session let us have a look on arrays and uh, if you like my videos do subscribe to my channel and share my videos with your friends thank you very much for supporting me and my channel thank you